six laps for a half marathon is slightly different to anything you've done before. How did you feel about it? Um, well, look, I, I don't really think I was looking forward to running 26 laps of a half mile loop, but uh, once I got in the way, um, I, I could see I switched off and just concentrated on the race. And before I knew where I was, I was halfway around, and uh, it was only until I got to 10 laps to go. That, I was aware of how far I had to go because the lady on the line was keep counting the laps down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, which uh, I could have that, done without. That put you off rather than encourage you? Well, I, I think I could have done without it, but uh, I must admit it was uh, sort of part of the race, so it didn't so, bother me. So when you arrived here, you, you knew it was going to be windy. Uh, did you go out to, to win or did you go out for a time? Did you take notice of your lap times? No, not at all. Um, it's very rare I run by the watch. My, my priority aim is to uh, win the race, uh, time secondary. To me, the only place of time is important is running on the track in a, in an on an accurate surface. That's just what the track is. And the, the opposition today, did you were you confident that you would uh, take the, 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 the victory or were you worried at all by, the, you obviously knew your teammate, but perhaps uh, Martin Rush and Graham Clark, our local lad, were less than um, well known to you? I've, uh, I've, I've heard of Martin, um, I've not raced him before so I have the total respect for everyone in the field and I basically just run the one race and uh, my tactics that I'm suit myself and if anyone can fit in with my tactics and come with us and beat us then yeah, well, that's um, hard lines on me but um, I knew what I was going to do, I was content to just sit for a few laps just to see how the race unfolded and it started faster than I had, than I had anticipated and I think it was after about 6 or 7 K I uh, put the boot on, put the boot in and managed to get a gap on, on Martin and then not a significant gap on Graham, that sort of build up over a period of maybe 5, 6, 7 laps. So I, I, I really didn't know who I was racing against, I didn't know who Graham was. So I feel like I was scared a little bit, so I was pushing on because of that. He's a very talented runner, he was uh, placed in the National Junior Cross Country Championships a few years ago, but he's uh, not really had any form as a senior, he's had some injury problems. Are you, your next step now, are you going to, uh, I believe you're entered for the London Marathon, uh, how seriously are you taking this? I'm taking it very serious. Um, I've two marathons, it didn't go to plan, so I have the ultimate respect for the distance, um, take nothing for granted. I've ended the race, but I won't really decide until a few weeks before whether or not I will actually do the race, but I'm totally focused on it at the moment. Everything's geared towards it. You, you described, or you were quoted in Athletics Weekly as describing 2.22 as, as crap. Um, what do you consider to be a good marathon? Sub 2.15? Sub 2.12? Well, the immediate goal is to break 2.20. Um, the coach has convinced me and he keeps saying to me that potentially I could run 2.13, 2.12. But until I actually do that, then it's, it's all pie in the sky. But um, he believes I have the uh, potential to do that. But as well, at, at the moment, I'm a 2.22 and that's all I know, which is yeah, nothing really. So in your preparations, what uh, other races have you got planned for the marathon? Um, I had anticipated on doing the, uh, the trials for the World Championships, but I'm not going to do that now because it's going to disrupt my training schedule. So I would say basically low-key races. Uh, in the North East? In the North East, and maybe throughout England, depending on what comes along. But, um, I haven't got any plans at the moment other than just to get my mileage up and get my strength up. What do you think of your, this? Your first visit to the Isle of Man. Have you? Has it been worthwhile? Or it's been worthwhile. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the race. I enjoy competing, and uh, most of all, I enjoy winning.